We continue our coverage of the standoff on I-10. Anchor Anthony Antoine joining us now in studio tonight with the intense moments as he watched it all unfold, covering the breaking news for hours on our air. Anthony. Yeah, Rashi, from start to finish, the encounter between police and the driver of that semi took about three and a half hours. There was a lot of buildup. We were following it for you minute by minute, and it all came to a stunning conclusion. 1.43 p.m. Sky Fox captures the first of at least three clouds of green smoke coming out of the passenger side of the cab. We believe officers were trying to smoke out the driver, but no movement. By 2.30, members of the SWAT team arrive and traffic on the feeder road is shut down. 2.49, a chopper from the sheriff's office lands on I-10 westbound. You can see an officer runs towards the action. 3 p.m., that feeder road is now a staging area for law enforcement. Then, about six SWAT team members move in and open the back of the shipping container. It was empty. Three minutes later, at 3.08 p.m., robots and a drone are deployed, giving officers a look at the suspect through the front windshield. 3.21, with a gun drawn, peeking out of an armored vehicle, a SWAT team member is looking through the barrel of his weapon, face-to-face -face with the suspect. Using non-lethal force, he would fire at least two shots. Shots. This chess game would soon come to an end. 335, what officers call a rook, moves in and makes a hole in the cab. They throw in a canister of smoke while the rook continues to gut the cab. Close to 4 p.m., the SWAT team and a K-9 unit moves in, surrounding the suspect from both sides and then dragging him out of the truck. His face covered in blood. He walked to a nearby stretcher and was taken to the hospital. Minutes later, the truck would be hauled away. And that was an absolute traffic nightmare for so many people there on the road, I-10 east and westbound. But you can find the complete timeline of those intense clips on our website, fox26houston.com.